welcome to Eureka Math. This is Module 2, Lesson 20, and our objective today is to divide two and three-digit dividends by two-digit divisors with single-digit quotients and make connections to a written method. So as you recall, if we have a number and we divide it by another number and we get an answer, right, put X, this is called what? This is called the dividend. This is called the divisor. Divisor. And the answer is called the quotient. Okay? So if we're talking about two and three digit dividends, so three digits there, two digits divisors, two digits here, with single digit quotients, which actually this quotient would be more than two di one digit because I was just throwing numbers out there, but um, you get the idea. Okay, so let's go to the problem set. <clears throat> Number one, divide, then check with multiplication, the first one is done for you. Okay, so we've got a number like 65 and you're and we want to divide it by 17. Up until now we've been dividing with really easy um, divisors, but 17 isn't that easy. So what are you going to do? You're going to have to, in your mind, right, you're going to round that 17 up to 20 in your mind. And 20, we're going to count, 20 by 20s, 20 40, 60, 80. Well, 60 is pretty close to our divisor or our dividend here, so I'm just going to guess the number 3. Okay, so I'm going to put my 3 here. 3 times 17 is 51, and my answer is 14. So as long as this answer is smaller than our divisor, then we're doing okay, okay? So three, remainder 14. And then I check my work by multiplying three times 17 and getting 51, and then 51 plus my remainder equals 65, okay? Next one. So I have to rewrite my problem. Remember, the dividend goes inside and the divisor goes outside. And this one I can actually, I can do in my head if I did 21 times 2, I, I know that that would equal 42, and that's about as close to that 49 as I'm going to get. So I'm going to put the 2 here. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, and I have 7. Remainder, 7. Now I'm going to check my work. So I'm going to take that uh, that divisor, and I'm going to multiply it by my quotient, 2, okay, which equals 42, and then I'm going to take that 42, and I'm going to add my remainder to get 49, and 49 equals my dividend, okay? Great. Next one, 78 divided by 39. Okay, now I can see right here that 39, if I rounded it up to 40 and multiplied it by 2, I would get 80. And this isn't quite to 80, is it? But 9, nine times 9, or I'm sorry, 9 times 2 is 18. So I think actually I can still make that work. Let's try that times 2. So 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and I have a complete answer here, no remainders. So let's check our work, 39 times 2, right, is 78, so we did it. Okay, next one, dividend goes inside, divisor goes outside. Now, if I were to multiply 32 times 2, I would get 64, and that is smaller than 84, but if I, re if I multiplied by 3, I'd have 96, which is too big. So now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it with the 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and then I have a remainder of 20, remainder 20. So now I check my work. 
32 times 2 equals 64. 64 plus 20 equals 84. Okay, good. E. 77 divided by 25. And 25 is easy. I don't have to round up at all. So 25, 50, 75, 100. 75 is really close to 77. So I know that 25, 50, 75 is 3. 3 times 25 is 75. And then I have a remainder of 2. Then I check my work. 25 times 3 equals 75. 75 plus 2 equals 77. And 68 divided by 17 68 divided by 17, sorry about that, is 1, 2, 3, let's see, I'm going to round up to 20, so 20, 40, 60, I'm going to try 3, okay, that's a good estimate. 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2, 3 times 3 is 3, 4, 5, and what do I have left over? Uh-oh, I have 17 left over. Well, that means I guessed wrong, so I'm going to have to go back. And I'm going to erase this and this and this and that. And in fact, I'm going to write it over right here. 17 into 68. I'm going to try that four times now. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 4, 5, 6 is 0. So 4, no remainders. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you think, well, I'll round it to 20, 20, 40, 60. That's close to 68. Um, and your thinking is correct, but when we get our answer, we see that we have a remainder that's bigger than the divisor. So we have to do over again. And that's okay. So now let's check our work. 17 times 4 equals... Well, let me put it here. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2, 4, 5, 6, 68. All right. Next page. Do we just have two pages today? No, nope, we've got three. Okay. All right. Number two. When dividing 82 by 43, Linda estimated the quotient to be 2. Yeah, well, it, maybe, but I don't think it's going to work. Examine Linda's work and explain what she needs to do next. On the right, show how you would solve the problem. Okay, so Linda, she sees that this number, she's going to have, she has too many. She can't subtract, right? So that's not going to work. We need to, what we need to do is multiply by 1. Instead, we have to go down. And 1 times 43 is 43. Now I'm going to subtract. Okay. And I've got 9 here and 3 here. Now I have one remainder, 39. It wasn't quite enough to get to 82, right? Now her estimation worked. 40 would go into 82 times. But 43 times 2 would be 86, which is bigger than 82. Okay, explain what to do next. On the right, show how you would solve the problem. Okay, she needs to divide by, oops, not divide by, um, she needs to estimate lower or multiply 43 by 42, and she would see. I'm not, I'm not explaining this right. You see what she did, and you know what she did. Now we need to figure out a way to put it in words, right? She needs to multiply 43 by 2 to see that 86 is larger than 82, okay? Next one. A number 
divided by 43, so we have a number divided by 43 has a quotient of 3 remainder 28. Find the number, show your work. Okay, so we're looking for that number right there. And if I were to write it like this, it would be like that. Okay, two different ways to write it. They're both legitimate. Now, how do we find the dividend? We're going to multiply 43 times 3. We're going to multiply that times that. And I'm going to erase this, actually. And that would give us 9 and 12, so 129 plus 28, 17, 5, 157 is our answer. Our answer is 157. Let me show you some things over here. So our answer is 157. That's what our dividend is. We worked backwards. But we wouldn't have to work backwards. What we could do is we could take this number, x, we don't know what it is, divided by 43 equals 3 remainder 8. Well, remainder 8, 28, just means that we had to subtract or add 28 to this number. So that would mean x minus 28, right? And then in order to do that, let's see, how do I want to... Am I getting too complicated for you? I might be getting too complicated. I was going to show you how to do it um, as an equation where we were moving all the things over to one side, but I don't know if we're quite ready for that. You do know how to solve, and so we can find it this way, 157. Okay? All right. I'll save that for another day. Number four, write another division problem that has a quotient of 3 and a remainder of 28. Okay, so we don't know what this number is, and we don't know what that number is. Well, we could take any number. Let's take any number we want. Let's take 4. Okay. So, 4 times 3 plus 28 would give us our new number. So, that's 12. 12 plus 28 is 40. You want to want to try it to see? No, that's not right. 12. Hang on. Um, no, that's not going to work. Let's try another one. Let's take a big number, a two-digit number. I think it's going to have to be a two-digit number for this to work. Okay, let's say uh, 21. Okay, 3 times 21 times 3 equals 63. 63 plus 28. No, nope, that's not going to work either. You know what? It's going to have to be a, big, a number bigger than... It has to be a number bigger than the remainder. It just has to be. Otherwise, it's not going to make sense. So let's see. 29, right? It would have to be bigger than the remainder. Otherwise, it would go in four times. So 29, because it's got to be bigger than the remainder, times 3. Eighty-seven. Okay. And then eighty-seven plus twenty-eight would be five, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so let's try that. All right, so as long as our divisor is bigger than our remainder, which it's going to have to be, um, we should be able to put any number here. Let me check and see if we get the right answer. Okay, so let's estimate 29 to 30. 30, 60, 90, 120. Well, 120 is too big, so let's go back to 3. Right, so 3 here. 3 times 9 
is 27, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 7. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, and then we subtract. And this go, turns it to 10. And that will make this 8 and that 2. Remainder 28. Okay. All right. Good thing to remember. See, I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, as long as the divisor is bigger than the remainder, you can use any number you want. So uh, let's try it with another number. Let's say uh, thirty. Thirty, and we want three remainder twenty-eight. Okay, so let's see. That would be thirty times three is ninety. Ninety plus twenty-eight is one hundred and eighteen. Let's try that. So if I put one hundred and eighteen here, and I erase this. Thirty, sixty, ninety. 120, well, it won't get to 120, so three times three, and that's 90, and our leftover is 28, remainder 28. Okay, so we can make any combination we want as long as that divisor is bigger than the remainder. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. I was trying to go small, but sometimes you gotta go big. Okay, number five. Mrs. Silverstein sold 91 cupcakes at a food fair. The cupcakes were sold in a box of a baker's dozen, which is 13. A dozen is 12, right? And a baker's dozen, because the baker throws in one more for fun, so a baker's dozen is 13. All right. She sold all the cupcakes at $15 per box. How much money did she receive? Okay, so... She sold 91 cupcakes, and we want to divide by 13 because each box had 13 in it. So let's see, 13 would go into 91 how many times? Well, we could round down to 10 and then try with a 9. Should we do that? Yeah, let's try that. 9, let's see, 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27, carry the 2, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that's way too big. Right? We can't have this number be bigger than that. So let's try, let's try six or seven. Seven times three is 21, carry the two. Seven times one is seven plus two is nine. Excellent, there we got it, right? And our remainder is zero. So if cupcakes were sold in a box as a baker's dozens, uh, which is 13, she sold all the cupcakes for $7 a box. So she sold seven boxes. Now we want to multiply those seven boxes by $15, which will be $105. Okay. How much money did she receive? She received $101. Okay. There we go. Division. I know some of you really, really struggle with division, so if we need to practice, let me know. I can give you more things to practice, okay? Have a great day.